everyone, Vigorino here. How to open a bottle of wine. You'll find millions of videos how to open a bottle of wine. Super simple. You go to a restaurant, to a bar, you will see the wait staff opening bottles of wine. Nothing to it, really. That is a few very casual and professional and sophisticated way to do it. And is a few nice, efficient, effortless, stylish, professional way to do it. So, we're going to try to do it as professional as possible, as efficient, as effortless, and with that respectful attitude, open a nice bowl of wine and introducing a nice bowl of wine. Carry the bowl like it's the most precious of the liquors. No matter if your customer order a $40 bottle of wine or if you order a four under or a 14 under dollar bottle of wine. It's up to the customer to judge how precious is this bottle of wine. They took time, consideration to pick, they believe, a great bottle of wine. So you carry it like is a super precious nectar on your hands. Get your glasses properly straight on your hands. Never carry the ball under your armpit. I've been seeing some of my employees doing that. Believe me, they got in trouble. Very unprofessional. Never park the ball on the table and of course then try to park the glasses around. No, the ball could be dirty. If you have a tablecloth you know, you have a nice ugly ring right on the tablecloth or it's so disappointing. I didn't mean, see that happen quite often. And really unpleasant that you're going to spend another hour and a half, two hours, looking on that tablecloth with an ugly ring of brownish or color, whatever. Anyways, facing up the label at all time, facing forward, facing up. You excuse yourself if you have to cross the table because you don't have room, you are in a tight corner. If you can go around the table, you park the glass on the right side of your customers, on the front of the knife. Easy reference. You don't need to be exactly precisely, millimeter by millimeter. On the front of the knife, easy reference. You walk around the table, excuse me. You keep doing it. If you have to cross the table because you are very tight, forgive me, but I need to cross the table. Forgive me, May, uh, for my reach. And you get a glass to the host. He or she picked the wine label facing out and should face the host at all time. From the time I introduce and I read the vintage, the type of wine and the winery or the producer of the wine, that label should at all time facing the eyes of the host at all time. If I may, sir, your selection, Octoni, Barbera de Asti 2010. He approves the bottle because he recognized the vintage and recognized the ball as was label on the wine list. Because if you don't introduce the vintage and through the middle of the ball, if the customer really realized that it was the wrong vintage and he's not really pleased with the food or with the wine. You will find an excuse to complain, send the ball back, or make a really bad comment the way out to the manager, to the owner, or to yourself. Next time, please, let me know that you don't have the right vintage of my wine. I had uh, picked something else different. You'll be very, very pleased with the experience and with the comment of a customer that is leaving the way out to your restaurant and nothing else you can do about it. Very, very important. You approved, you hold the ball, get your wine opener, common, professional wine opener, whatever you feel comfortable with, 
facing the host at all time. Get your little knife open. Don't try to cut the top of the lead or your plastic. Always from this straight part. You see, I'm holding ready with the thumb and the little knife this entire bottle. Effortless. If I try to cut the top, that knife could slide right through the top, hit my thumb, have a little cut, maybe a couple drops of blood into the tablecloth or into the bowl. You have to stop what you're doing and you'll be really embarrassing in what really just happened. So, always from that first edge of the neck of the ball, as you see, I'm holding the ball effortless because I can press up and cut that foil, that lead effortless. Facing always the hostess eyes all time. I can come back, let them talk. If you want, start to talk about some of the chef selections you have for the evening. Yes, if you really are good and comfortable enough, take your time to take and to cut straight and clean the entire lead on the bowl, get it on your pocket, on your apron, label facing the host still and it want to be there and should be there, don't twist it around, no way. Get that screw into the middle, try to get it almost to the separing facing, still, the host, get a little push with the double leverage opener that I have, slowly, should not come up with a pop, effortless, that's it, simple, still facing, the host, hold it with the thumb and windex, You press with the thumb and with your index, the cork, pass the thumb over that moist cork, no matter if it's white, if it's red, that's what you should do. And the customer that really knows about what he's doing is what he should do also. Never smell the cork. And believe me, when you see people and customers doing that, let them do it. They've been watching on TV. You know, and most of the time, when we see, you know, something on TV, we believe that is the right way to do it, and it's graceful to do it, and we just keep doing it. Never, ever smell the cork, and any great wine connoisseur, anyone that has a sufficient wine knowledge, don't smell the cork, ever. So, you park then the cork on the right side of your guest, and maybe you're going to do the same, you're going to press, let them do that. Let them take a little time if you want to play with the cork. Facing the host at all time, you pour no more than, you know, half an ounce, one ounce of wine, still facing the host. Bring some of the senses of the wine, some of the nose to you to realize and to really make sure the wine is in the proper condition. If you know the customer and if you excuse yourself, excuse me sir, allow me to aerate the wine a little bit for you. And maybe you want to do it himself. You want to taste the wine, you want to approve the wine, and you go around the table, you pour the bowl of wine. First the ladies, then the elder on the table, and if you have a five or six guests on your table, make sure you don't really pour so much into the wine glass that you have only enough for five guests and your host is not going to have enough wine to drink. What a bad, embarrassing situation. And I see, and I have seen it happen over and over again. So, you pour no more than a quarter to half glass. Less than half, excuse me, if I may. A little twist of that bottle. Always facing the guests. You do it all around the table to the right side, you come again and then you finish with the host again facing always the host. 
you excuse yourself, you park the bowl of wine facing the host. Please have a toast and uh, we'll be back in a few minutes to take your order or make sure you are satisfied or if you have any questions, we'll be back. That's it. Simple, damn, efficient, professional way to do it. That is how you should open a bowl of wine at all time. Label, style, respectful attitude. We'll see you on some other upcoming videos. We're going to have always great fun to do all those little steps and guidance and secrets and have fun doing this amazing job that we are so proudly uh, and privileged to do. Have a great day. Bye.